Hey, what's up guys? So I just got my um, Art of Plug Volume 2 in the mail today and wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm going to open it up. I haven't seen it myself, so this is going to be a first for both of us. So we'll flip through it a little bit. You know, obviously we won't go through the, the whole thing because it's a new book and um, you know, leave some surprises for you guys if you decide to uh, purchase it yourselves. So inside you'll find, I'm assuming this is a coin, but we'll check that out in a minute. Let's pull the book out, put the coin there. Let's get rid of the packaging and let's see what's up here. Okay, let's open up this little package here. Wow, that's it's pretty difficult to open. Mm, let's try again. All right, got it open. Okay. And here we have a coin. And let's see if I could open this up. Actually, I don't need to. And you have this uh, werewolf on the on one side of the coin. I guess this is the front of the coin. And then there's like. A, a dog on the other side of the coin. So that's cool. All right. I didn't know I was going to get that. So, you know, that's a bonus right there. And let me just uh, unwrap this and we'll get right into it. Try not to damage the book while I'm removing the, the plastic. So, as you guys may know, um, there was a Kickstarter for The Art of Flug Volume 2, and I couldn't resist, so I decided to contribute to the Kickstarter. And my book came today, so it's, it's funny because I actually had contributed to three different Kickstarters, and The Art of Flug is the first one to come. And I think probably even the most like legit, you know, book out of the three Kickstarters that I joined and the books already here. So and then the other two, I think one is like delayed till the end of the year or early next year. And uh, the other one, I have no idea when it's coming out. So, you know, kudos to uh, the Art of Plug Volume 2 for getting it done and and uh putting it out so anyway let's let's uh flip through this book see what's going on okay so i'm just gonna kind of skip around so some cool original art pages here some more. They look like Werewolf by Night pages. Being that I'm just flipping around, like I'm not really getting, you know, the sections, because I don't want to show you guys everything that way. You guys can decide whether you want to buy it, and, and um, then you can look at the whole thing yourself, and you'll be amazed by all the great artwork. So this one, you know, in comparison to Volume One looks like a lot more uh, original art pages whereas the first volume had like a lot of sketches and you, you know you got you you uh, had the pencils to like the um, comic covers and then you would have the finished product across from it But this is an awesome addition to volume one, just getting all these pages. Um, it's possible that we're getting sequential pages here where you can probably even read, you know, most of the story. So that's pretty cool. Some Frankenstein pages. You just saw the Ghost Rider. Oh, I love this. Look at, this is beautiful. Some pencils of Frankenstein. 
man thing. The format's a little bit different. Um, these really small panels here is is probably something that I noticed that's uh, majorly different from volume one. You know, I'm not sure how I feel about all the negative space on this page here. And you know, obviously I understand that they're putting two panels uh, of original art on the same page, so therefore, you know, there's no way to take up that whole page. Except for just, you know, to put one piece on there instead of two. I don't know how that would, um, that might possibly increase the pages altogether of the entire book and maybe for some reason they didn't want to do that. Now this looks like uh, Planet of the Apes and this is really beautiful. I'm assuming that this was not in color so you had like a, a lot of grayscales going on with this artwork which looks really beautiful. You've got some goon pages here. And then you have some artwork from Thicker Than Blood. I don't know if you guys have seen uh, this particular series. Uh, when I saw it, I had to pick it up. Um, as far as I know, it was like a three comic book series. So it went three issues and, and that was it. You know, let me know if it went longer than that and you know, let me know if I'm missing some issues or if there was, you know, a second series that was produced because then I need to pick that up too. And then you get into some of his film work again, just like as, uh, you know, in uh, volume one. Wow, that's gorgeous. Amazing. Looks like some uh, Lord of the Rings work here. Oh, what is this from? This is awesome. Heavy Metal. Yeah, it looks like Heavy Metal. Well, I didn't know he was involved in that. That's oh, super cool. I wanted to watch Heavy Metal again, you know, for such a long time. I mean, I really haven't seen it since I was a kid. I think I may have seen it once, maybe twice as a kid, and, you know, never, never again afterward. So, you know, I have memories of it, but um, I'd like to see it again. Obviously this is from The Thing, and this artwork is gorgeous and just, you know, very detailed. Lone Wolf and Cub. Wow, look at that. Just a huge, like, steam engine. Um, it looks like some kind of weapon here. I don't know what this was used for. But like I said, you know, I'm looking at this for the first time with you guys, so. A lot of thumbnails here for storyboards. So this says fantasy art paintings. Oh, this is cool. It almost has this like Frank Frazetta quality to his artwork but just, you know, a little more um, cartoony looking. I feel like Frazetta was a, a lot more uh, realistic looking. But I love both, you know, both styles and both artists, by the way. Yeah, like, Plug has like a lot more like fantasy uh, going on in his artwork. I mean, not that Frazetta didn't, but You know, it's almost like it's ready for animation.
Wow, pretty excited to have this volume too. Wow, this is gorgeous. I thought this was like the last page of the book. It looked like, you know, it was like um, connected to the cover, but it's not. And these colors are just gorgeous. This is amazing. Wow, I can't wait to see the whole thing. So there you go. Mike Plug Volume 2. Just received it in the mail today. So seeing it with the you know for the first time uh, with you guys. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. See you guys soon. Bye.